Alright, so... There they are. The Ashwinders. Sebastian is about this. Ashwinder. Revelio. Where's the helmet? Where's the helmet? No, it's not. That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh. What's going to happen here? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Rodgok. I see why you wanted it back. 
You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that Wait I trusted you. Wait a minute, how come you not... We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Right. You kind of didn't, uh... He kind of let it out there just a minute, like... You know what I'm saying? He didn't... He didn't fully explain what the hell he meant by that. I gotta remind myself that I have those, um, those witcher corners. There's the Pluso. There's the Pluso. It's on. I don't even remember how the hell I'm supposed to learn that. class.
Your potions and plants can be unlocked for you. Unlock for your two wheel by purchasing the recipes. Well, I think I got all of them right now. Unless they got something hidden. Rebellion. Did I not unlock a flame there it is? This stuff is not rendering good at all. Outside the school, really? We got another one of these? I keep thinking we're at the school. What's the reason why I'd be like, going there? Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast. Some frame right here. Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. <gasps> ah! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think Press it enriches his brushes. experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Why are we really over here trying to I make piss fall in love with us? Would you mind giving him some beast? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? 
pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, oh, I'm assuming this is when we get the mouse. As you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Measles? Wildcats. Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, the stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. A raven claw and a slitherer, huh? Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. What would you like me to do next, Professor? Assist Miss Sweeting at the Nisal enclosure. She will need help brushing and feeding them. You will find it is similar to your work with the Puffskins. I bet. Um... really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As they want to feed the little motherfucker. So it are. appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some right. provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Psst, psst, over here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. 
Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. What the hell is she trying to... Come with me. I, she trying to I set wouldn't me take up. just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. I wonder if this is the mount. Stand back. It's the damn mount. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next Professor time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. I think I'm going to look into it, find out what's going on, what they're doing. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Right. Oh. First things first.
perfect. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the Who three broomsticks Ryan? when you can. I would like your help. So I'm not something. calling no dude, no woman name. This is not gonna happen. That's Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Finkelberry. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Oh, so that's the next four. <laughs> 